Welcome back to Maypole. It's the last day of September. I finished up our plowing down on the field where I left y'all in the last episode. And went ahead and drove the, uh, the borrowed equipment we have. See, whose borrowed equipment are we ha do we have? Because he needed two fields done. Um, oh, Richard. Yes, Richard pays us a lot of money to do a lot of things. Richard is a lazy farmer. But, um, yeah, we drove Richard's New Holland up here and parked it where it'd be close to the house. Because by the time we got done down there, it was like, it was almost midnight. Well, I've had a good six hours of sleep, as you can tell. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And we're ready to start the last day of September by getting up here and <clears throat> trying to finish up Richard's cultivating jobs. I think we gotta go find field 71. Oops. That stupid mic always getting in the way. Gotta go find, find, find. You're losing things. I know it's sitting in the cab here somewhere, right? I'm looking, I'm not seeing. I'm supposed to have an ink pen. And I'm looking not seeing my ink pen. My ink pen is nowhere to be found. Oh, Jesus. Alright. I'll cut the video here. I gotta run back to the house and get my ink pen. Well, I tell you what, dude, I'd get my head if it wasn't attached. Alright. With ink pen in hand, so now we can check off the field for yesterday. Got that one done. And we'll head to field 71. All right, let's go find this bugger. Been a whole lot of traffic up here in front of the house this morning. Not quite certain. Everybody heading out of town for some event going on or what's going on? Just so everybody knowed, yes, I was on the road and I had my blinky blink flashy flashes on. Gotta do this stuff proper, you know. This right here, T7, let me tell you, Richard ain't no slouch when it comes to his equipment. He, he buys good equipment. He just sort of a slouch when it comes to operating it I guess you know every time I turn around Richard needs this Richard needs that Richard just I don't know he might be a great businessman he may be a great businessman but I'm I'm beginning to doubt Richard's I guess farmability rating would be very low because he, he doesn't do a lot of the farming himself I believe But now if he's making plenty of money and to, to be able to pay me and others to come do the work, you know, who am I to complain? And ta-da, we have found field 71. And no time like the present. We're going to head down here to the lower half and work our way back up to the road, I believe. Because we don't want to work uphill, downhill. We want to work across the hill, and it looks to be... Uh, yeah, that's going to be this way.
Yeah, another day, a couple of more dollars I'm gonna try to earn. I think the last episode sort of came off without a hitch. I'm waiting to hear from everybody to see what everybody thought. Um, episode four debuted and I haven't heard a squeak out of nobody. Uh, I was hoping to hear whether or not y'all liked the new intro. Um, I give full credit for that intro, even though I may have built it on my PS4. The, the know-how came from somebody else. Because I was blind to the tools I had at my use. And they opened my eyes. To the possibility of being able to use other things provided in-game. I was so excited to make that too. I think it turned out pretty good, pretty decent. I hope y'all enjoy it. I'll uh, all of my let's plays that I do on this channel now will probably carry a credit. I, that's something I've something else I'm looking into trying to figure out how to do on my PS4 is how to make. A decent ending credits uh, my first attempt was last episode y'all see how that came out it's not very impressive it gets the point across but it's not very impressive not very impressive in, in indeed but uh, you know we do what we can do with what we have to do it with is about all I can tell you. And yeah, jobs like this take me a little longer than probably most other people that do this, but this is how I enjoy myself. I feel the stress just easing away as I mow down the sorghum stalks. No more stalks or I don't know, would this be considered a stalk? It's not like it's corn. Huh. Words and then language just lead me to other questions. And the way these get posted, if y'all answer my questions, it takes me a little while to get to them, so. I'm still waiting on getting the feedback from the last episode about the big Great Britain England debate in my head. <laughs> we'll just leave the voices in there arguing. back right up to the shrubs nothing better than getting you a run at it before you lower that thing out down and start tilling up the ground I've been trying to work on my camera too I know if I, if I really concentrate you can see if I concentrate on the camera I don't concentrate as much on the driving and I miss a little bit little bits of it back there but trying to work on moving my camera with the side panel a little easier so I'm not giving y'all all this perky jerky stuff there's nothing like having your brain have whiplash because somebody moves the camera around too fast so if we can keep some sort of smooth camera work of course you know if, if y'all are here now just guess what y'all y'all either see the damnation of the channel or you see it prosper by me learning things there's no two ways there's no other two in any other way about it there those are the only two ways I, I assume anything's gonna happen you know it 
Either I'm totally going to muck this up. <laughs> that was a good substitution. <laughs> I hope all of y'all caught that. Either I'm going to muck this up. Or I'm going to teach myself how to do these things. Either way, I'm happy y'all are along for the ride. Oh, I went a little too far that time. Now, Richard ain't here. He don't know. Not my tractor. Not my problem. I put his grill up there. I'll check the grill after we're done with the field. Make sure I didn't poke a hole in it. If I break that screen in the front, and then next thing you know, Richard's having to replace a radiator, then I have a feeling no more jobs for Farmhand Red. But as things usually go at about this time, I believe I'll shut my hole. I will shut my hole and leave y'all with a little bit of tunage as I get the rest of this field done. I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Big lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some egos to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make every Everything just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, rice, so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame Ball game, no shame, baby can't get a play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine something else I need to work on I I suck at thumbnails because I don't never think about taking the screenshots it's not like they're not there I don't it's not like I don't see them it just, oh god run through the shrubs oh god damage the cultivator but back oh oh I just broke reality y'all seen that I, I apologize run halfway through the shrubs I started backing up before I had enough time to pick my equipment up. All because of I, I was thinking about a screenshot. But yeah, it's screenshots are something that's sort of new to me. I, I'm not from the generation that takes pictures of every thing and throws it online to share with everybody. So. I, I, I don't know I'm my daughter is still teaching me that you know you have answers dad you you don't have to sit there with questions in your head anymore you can google stuff and what I have found is usually about 89 to 90 percent of the time Google gives you a proper answer so good for them but my brain just doesn't work that way. You know, I, I usually wait until I talk to somebody that I figure would know the answer to my question. 
until then I keep it bottled up that's the same thing with screenshots you know I I see the the pretty picture I, that's here in front of me like oh like that right there oh we're gonna pose for this one hold on let's, let's come on up here right 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 all right back up just a hair all right now let's drop this back down all right now tell me that's not a pretty picture that's a pretty picture we're, we're gonna take that all right I, I i'm sorry i know that holds the gameplay up and, and everything but i mean you know i i see it it's just half the time i'm like um da -dum, da -dum. i'm thinking about the job i'm doing you know you know what's going on i don't really get lost in the in the oh i need that for later category my brain never registers it for some reason so I, I'm gonna work on that so that I can try to get a little bit better thumbnails for y'all guys anywho we're getting close to finishing this field. And look at there, I, I did good that time. I almost kept my mouth shut through the whole thing. Um, changes I'm, I'm making as I'm, as I'm playing and figuring all this stuff out is, I think I would rather play on times 10 than times 15. Times 15 is nice, don't get me wrong. I've also sort of figured out how to do some, um, I guess you'd call it self-editing. I mean, I don't even know if that's the term for it. Um, I edit while doing the recording process. I I'm doing a little of that, and which means I can enjoy the game for a longer period, playing it 10 times and still should be able to get out my week's episodes over the weekend and yes I'm concentrating because I'm looking at the tractor backwards while backing up with the steering wheel anyway and um but yeah it slows the game down a little bit for my enjoyment you know, because now I don't have to rush, 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 push, push, push to get content into the video. And with a little stopping the recording here, starting it there, as long as I don't forget to mash that start recording button, it, it turns out all right. Like, you know, y'all might want to see the jobs. You might not want to see all of the job, but you want to see the jobs that are performed on the farm. But if there's nothing to say between a ride from the field to the farm, you're probably not interested in it. Tell you where I'm going, show you when I get there type of deal, you know. Because then you're starting something new, usually. And uh, here's, a, here's a question that I've seen mo many YouTubers not explain that I've often had. When you play the game, how do you play? Um, this is a contract. We've all done contracts on Farming Simulator. I, I take it. So how do y'all do y'all's contracts when you do them? Do you complete it? Do you, do you do it to completion? Or do you do the contract until it tells you it's done and turn it in? I'm one of the ones that does it to completion. I, if this was my field, I'd make sure it was completely done. So why would I not do that for the person I'm working for? That, you know, that's the way my brain works on it. 
So all I've got is a little small strip up here at the road and the headlands. So we're going to go ahead and get lined up and knock the headlands out. And this right here seems to be the steeper end of the field. So we're going to go downhill on this one. Looks like we're going to have to probably pull one uphill on this end anyway. Usually with the way I turn, it, it leaves about one and a half, you know, a one and a half to two headland pass. See how this Holland can pull this up this steep incline now. That little tuck there in the corner, that's probably gonna get be hard to get without breaking reality, but we'll we'll do it. I don't know if this this equipment's gonna fit in between the edge of the field and that tree or not, but we'll try. Whoa, there you go. Get that backing up under control. Good job, driver. Oh, yeah, it fit. Oh, oh, oh that new Holland is not happy right there on takeoff. Let's see, let's move over here now for the second headland pass on this end. See, a lot of people see this as just tedious crap you don't have to do, so they don't do it. They just turn it in, and, you know, that's fine. Teach their own. I just, I would rather play more realistic. What we needed is a front weight. I see them tires out there. They're, they're not helping us a whole lot with traction going up a big hill. I love all the new sound effects like when you pass by trees like that when out of cab you can hear the limbs rustling so half the time the, when I first hear it, I think, oh God, it's raining. But then I realize, oh no, 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 that's the trees. They're being pushed around by the wind and those trees back there shouldn't be making those noise. They have pine needles on them, but it's supposed to assimilate, I guess, leaves on branches rustling in the wind, which you gotta admit, that's a large step up from anywhere we have ever been. Nah, 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 nah. I shouldn't, but I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. There we go.
Yes, I ran completely through the shrub that time. To improve your backing skills, sometimes all you gotta do is back up a lot. And let's get lined up. Yeah, I pushed it over a little too far, but it'll be okay. We'll pull it back out like we need it. Pretty much finishes off the headland because everything else has done been turned. The amount of rows of shame on this field is, is sad and pathetic. I like doing contracts like this for a reason. It gets me in equipment that I hardly ever use. I mean, I do use some medium tractors, but I lean toward the older models for nostalgia reason, I guess, you know, it's what I grew up seeing, so it's what I'd rather use. I'd love to have a great classic set on here. Hint, hint, modders. Hint, hint. Classic tractors. I don't care who they're made by. Case, Massey, New Holland. I know New Holland gets hard to do when you start talking about classic tractors. Because then you eat into, like, Ford and everything else. So, all right. We have Richard's two fields have been completed now. I'm going to ease back down toward the store. Another thing that usually aggravates people is the way I drive if I'm not out on the main road. I drive it like I'm sitting in the tractor, not just from using the end cab view. Um, anybody that's ever rode in a tractor, I don't know about these newer ones. I'm, I'm sure they're the air ride cabs have brought it a long way and the air ride seats have brought it a long way but even still a tractor supposedly back in the old days they were there's a saying around here i don't know if it's worldwide or not that something rides like a log wagon the reason that is a saying around here is because there's a lot of logging done in my area and just about all of us growing up either knew somebody in the family or friends that drove a log truck and we have went on a ride in it. Back in the days they were loaded so heavy that it, it was like almost riding around with no suspension. You know, it, especially back before air ride was a thing. when you were on just a spring suspension it was a rough ride ladies and gentlemen and when when I was coming up tractors rode rougher than a log wagon so, so I mean it, it just was what it was you felt every bump and you know I, I value how my insides feel I don't want to feel like I've been jarred apart so I'm in the habit of when I'm not on a paved road, I don't try to run full throttle. 
And that aggravates the crap out of some people, you know? Why are you going so slow? I don't know. You can't please everybody. I'm just playing to please myself and hoping y'all enjoy the babbling I do while the gameplay is going on. And all right, we've uh, we've made it back to store. And we've got just a little over, just a little over half a day has been burnt. So that's interesting. Guess we'll take Richard's equipment, stick it down here out of the way. I don't want to get it in Armand's, Armand, I'm sorry, I had to apologize to Armand, Armand, I had to apologize to him because I called him Armando, he was, he was telling me there was no O in his name, uh, dude, I'm sorry, it, old habit, alright, we'll go in here and we'll, uh, because I got no cell service whatsoever here. It, it totally sucks for me. So I'll go in here and use Armand's phone. Call Richard. Let him know uh, we got that took care of. He'll run up here and get his equipment. And hopefully he'll bring his checkbook. We'll get this took care of. And uh, I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Boy, I tell you what. I don't think. Well. I guess I don't get to think. But Richard. He, he, he just assumes. That since I finished that and wasn't busy, evidently, that I'd be happy to do more. And so he he drove the T6 down here with a fertilizer spreader. And uh, of course, I I, talk, I had to talk to Armin because he didn't bring fertilizer. No, 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 no. But he said he'd reimburse me for my fertilizer. So I I worked a deal out with Armin. We got 5,000 liters of fertilizer in there. And uh, after after us almost clearing 5,800, it was like 57 and some change off of that cultiva cultivating those two fields. He 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 just shows up down here like, hey, well, you know, Red, why you're at it? <sighs> oh well, like I said, at least he takes pretty decent care of his equipment. He's got good equipment. Can't lie, you know this little bit of a New Holland nut and he did say he's got a a, a dutes I think that's how it's pronounced I think he's got a dutes too but he said it was way too large of a tractor for this and anyway we'll head out he's got a couple of fields up to the north here that need to be fertilized I guess we'll go take care of that ain't nothing but money out of his pocket into mine Flashy, flashy, blinky, blinky zone, and, uh... Here we go. Ooh, I almost forgot to hit that record button. I got up here and inspected the crop and thought, Oh, boy, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, there's a crop of soybeans up here. I mean, look at the size of this field of soybeans. All right, then. Well, we're going to give this a, give it a definite go. I'm going to get up here and line up on this side. I'm, I haven't really used one of these spreaders in a while. It's been a... Well, in 22, I have yet to use this, so I, I'm, I'm not certain if it still spreads the same or not, but we're going to give it a, we'll give it a go. Let's see how this works. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got to get my buttons. Got to get my buttons. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks to be the same spread width. Uh, 
Well, I wish that map down there on the mini map populated I faster. Be the game. In my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. So I just retain success and I change. Possessed by the thought of fertilizer, what we will try to do is we'll try to spread the headlines. That way we can turn around on them and have enough time to shut the spreader off. That'll work. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. As you can Never tell, for console, it's toxic. hard to tell it's where like you've been, where you haven't logic. been. You can't stop it. It's been you can't really don't have a ground color or ground texture or anything. So we're going to have to use that mini map to go by. best we can make sure that makes connection come on populate there you go yeah that did it that did a fine job i know usually these fertilizer jobs are where the money's at you, know, you can make decent money doing fertilizer jobs constantly we don't want to get caught up in in that now we're fixing to get up here to where we're, we're no longer spreading over anything that isn't covered. Is it going to cut it, cut it off automatically? No, it does not. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're learning all this as we go, people. And here comes the rain. Of course. Not gonna stop. No, oh, look at the size of that gap. It says build 70 complete, but I know I left some gaps up here this gap down look at the way that rain is moving across this soybean field you see the waves of the wind and rain beating down on it I guess daytime or nighttime it will not matter I'll be just as blind at night as I am during the daytime and that should have it We'll head to the next field. I'm not really sure if we're gonna just ease off into the field and start spreading when we get there or not. But we'll, we, we will head that way regardless. I may stop by the house and pick me, pick me up a fresh thermos of coffee because uh, I believe I may be out here for a while. Give us enough time to get us a hot cup of joe. Drop the kids off at the pool. And I'll be back right with you. All right, fresh pot of coffee been made at the house that coffee pot will keep it warm for at least a couple hours a fresh fill up in my to-go cup and uh, grab my phone charger too just in case and this rain still ain't let up heck I was at the house for almost an hour yeah this is it's not looking great for being able to spread when I get down here. And the sad part about it, this fertilizer is getting soaked in the back. There's no cover on this thing, but uh, it, what happens, happens. And you know what? There's 
there's an old farm here with some sheds and whatnot in it we'll duck in here because the uh, field we got to do is just right over over on the back side of this we'll duck in here and we'll use one of these sheds to take shelter in so our fertilizer don't get messed up too bad You know, folks around here seem pretty neighborly anyway, so I don't think nobody will complain too much that we use their shed just to park under while we wait the rain out. All right, well, uh, cut all the everything off. Now I'm busting the phone out. I got a tutorial to watch from FS Landscaping anyway. I gotta figure out how these tram lines work and we'll catch y'all just as soon as the rain lets up. Well, the rain has abated. And it looks like the sun has retreated. But blinky blink and flashy flash is going. This gonna be interesting. Let's see, entrance for this field. I would assume is down this way. I'm sure y'all are not in the least bit interested in watching the shit show that is fixing to take place with me trying to spread this fertilizer in a cornfield in the dark. As I'm going to be honest with you, I'm about ready to call Richard up and tell him to go muck himself. Oh, wait a minute. We got shrubs down the edge of the field now. I have to be on the inside of those. But, okay. It, it is what it is. I'll get on it. I'll get her done tonight. Swear I will. Oh, okay. This end of the field's open, too. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and pull in here and get set up, and we'll start this end's headland. I still love the animation of the corn being bent over and all that jazz. That's pretty cool. Oh, and this crop has one fertilizing rate already on it. So we'll be sending it to a second blue state. I guess. Okay. I think I've just about got the spreader where it might need to be lined up at. All right. Anywho, I'll carry on with this and uh, I'll bid y'all a big old laters and hope we'll see you in the next episode. Oh yeah, that did great.